Welcome to online classes of Malabar Engineering College. Today I want to take the subject of Advanced Thermodynamics which comes under for S4 Automobile. Okay, today we are going to discuss on the topic Brayton Cycle. What is meant by Brayton Cycle? In this cycle, it is nothing but a constant pressure variation cycle. It's known as a Brayton Cycle and I will explain the arrangement of a Brayton Cycle. Here there is a compressor. After that, there is a combustion chamber, then comes the turbine and comes the cooler. And the cycle repeats by itself. So it's known as a Brayton cycle. Okay. Inside a compressor, the air is compressed. After the compressed air, then it's sent to the combustion chamber. Inside this, the huge energy is released. Using this energy, the turbine is rotated. While the turbine is rotated, the output, the work is taken out from the turbine. And a portion of the turbine rotation is used to working of for the compressor also. And the heat release is high. For the heat release is very high, we need to reduce the heat. So a cooler is provided. So it's in a process like process 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4 and again 4 to 1. Like that the cycle repeats. Okay, and here is the PV diagram of the Brayton cycle and here comes the TS diagram. In the PV diagram, we can see from 1 to 2 and 3 to 4. These two are in isentropic process. What is meant by an isentropic process? In an isentropic process, the entropy remains the same. It means the amount of heat is not converted to work, is known as entropy. And isentropic means the entropy remains the same inside this process from 1 to 2 and 3 to 4. And when we take the TS diagram, since S entropy is not varying from process 1 to 2 and 3 to 4 remains a straight line. But there will be variation in temperature. Okay, first process 1 to 2 is isentropic compression. From 1 to 2, the compressor is used and the compression takes place. From process 2 to 3, constant pressure energy is added. In combustion chamber, the energy is added morally constantly like it is increased. Then from process 3 to 4, is isentropic expansion. And the output of the combustion chamber, the energy is released highly to the turbine. So it is known as isentropic expansion. After that comes the constant process energy reduction. Like Using a cooler, the heat inside the system is given out. So the constant pressure energy is rejected. Like that, the energy is like uh, here the energy is the heat and that should be rejected. Okay, now let me explain the how to calculate the efficiency, the efficiency of a Brayton cycle. Here first we write the heat added to the system, which is already familiar. MCP T3 minus T2. And the heat rejected from the system that is MCP T4 minus T1. Okay, we know efficiency is notated by output by input. That means here there is an output and here an input. Like output by input gives the efficiency. That means the work done by heat supplied. Like that. So it will be like 1 minus uh, Q1 minus Q2 by Q1. Then it can be written like 1 minus, since Q1 is common, we can take 1 minus Q2 by Q1. Okay, here we know Q2 is T4 minus T1. It is written again. And we know Q1 is equal to T3 minus T2, which is written again. Okay, and we can take a nu is equal to, nu means the efficiency is equal to 1 minus T1. We can take the T1 as common outside. So, it will be like 1 minus T into T1 into T4 minus T1 minus 1 divided by here from the denominator the 2 is take T2 is taken outside. So it will be like T2 into T3 minus T3 by T2 minus 1 like that. And it is retorted like equation number 1. So it's known as the equation number 1. Now we can write the pressure ratio like there is a variation in pressure like P2 and P1. So the pressure ratio is written by P2 by P1. Okay. Uh, we can write process 1 to 2 is equal to process 3 to 4 because 
process 1 to 2 and process 3 to 4 are isentropic process that means the entropy is the same so we can write both are same so the equation for this two equation are t2 by t1 is equal to p1 p2 by p1 all raised to gamma minus by gamma uh, t3 by t4 is equal to p3 by p4 all raised to gamma minus 1 by gamma so we can write t2 by t1 is equal to t3 by t4 because these two are isentropic process so it will be like t2 by t1 is equal to t3 by t4 and by using the interchangeability rule we can write t4 by t1 is equal to t3 by t2 like after an equal to equation we can interchange the values so it will be written like t4 by t1 is equal to t2 t3 by t2 so we know here t4 by t1 t3 by t2 is the same for this so we can neglect these two like t4 t4 by t1 and t3 by t2 are the same from this isentropic process so we can neglect these values and efficiency is equal to 1 minus t1 by t2 and using the pressure equation it will be like 1 minus p1 by p2 all raised to gamma my minus 1 by gamma and we know the pressure ratio is like p2 by p1 so here it's like p1 by p2 so the efficiency equation becomes 1 minus 1 divided by rp rp represents the pressure ratio all raised to gamma minus 1 by gamma i hope this is the value to find the efficiency of a Brayton cycle i hereby conclude by today's class thank you